hey what is up guys welcome back to the channel and in this video I'm gonna go ahead and install Windows 10 onto Proxmox server so without further ado let's begin first you want to go ahead and install the uh, download the uh, Windows Virtual I.O. drivers because we need them for Windows support um, from the website of Proxmox you can find it right here F it's a Fedora website which will bring you right to this page here now let's take the latest one Got also second revision here uh, let's try this one the 190 ISO file and let's save it in a folder okay now we need those virtual IO drivers. Um, okay. You will need of course also the ISO file, Windows 10 ISO file. I already downloaded it from the uh, Microsoft website. Go ahead and do that. And once you got the both files, we can go into Proxmox and prepare the storage. Um, we are going to use the another disk for that so we're gonna go ahead and click on disks and we will choose an empty one let's take this one def sdc just a 500 gigabyte ssd okay let's prepare it by clicking on initialize the disk with uh, gpt partition then it will say gpt yes okay now the next thing we w what we want to do is to make a directory so we go to create directory choose disk c which was the one we just selected before file system x4 file system linux and let's name it win 10 and click on create so that will create our storage or directory storage and uh, it will take uh, just a while there you go it's right here mm, if we go to disks if I go in again to Windows 10 and then I do ISO image and then upload, select the file, desktop, Windows 10, ISO, upload. Okay, this is very important. You need to upload the ISO file before you can create the virtual machine. And uh, this will take uh, just a few seconds. Just bear with me few seconds that I will finish to upload the Windows 10 ISO file all right once it has finished uploading the ISO file we can go ahead and right click on the VME and create a new virtual machine let's call this puppy uh, Windows 10 and next Let's choose the storage uh, and Win 10 ISO. This one right here. Okay. Now, what type of operating system is this? Microsoft Windows, Windows 10, which is right here from 2016 to 2019. Okay. Latest one next. Graphics card. You can choose your own uh, graphics card here or just leave default. I leave it as default click on next then you want to choose a hard disk preferably we want to choose here SATA disk and the same on which we put on the Windows 10 in this case disk size let's make a nice size I like to do like 400 will be more than enough 400 gigs Kimu image format QKO2 and next course how many cores do you want to assign to the CPU 
uh, if you got for example uh, eight cores you want to assign half of them in this case four uh, and then next I got 32 gigabytes of memory in, on my server I want to do like uh, mm, half 16384 next uh, network vmbr0 intel e1000 leaf ss next we go all the selections which we made before and then click on finish to confirm them and now as you can see here we get a question mark and soon this will pop up as Windows 10 you see now we right click on here and then we click on start and we go to console and there we go let's put it on a large screen and let's see if we do here it will boot into the um, network uh, boot so if we do escape here you can choose one two three four in our case it's number four dvd on which we have our uh, windows iso so we choose four and now it will boot into windows 10 as you can see here all right oh yeah so here we have our welcome screen of windows then and we will install it now um, I don't have product key right now let's choose Windows 10 professional next I accept next custom install yeah 400 gigs and we can do new apply it will make the additional partitions system partition and or installation partition okay next okay so now it will install windows 10 and when it finishes the installation i will be back to you all right ladies and gentlemen let's see how far it is now it's now uh, finishing the first phase of the installation restart now second phase will commence now will begin now okay well, let's try to put it on large screen full screen all right it will reboot once again now let's check here all right let's choose for english united states and skip that for now keyboard layout mm. let's set it up for personal use let's try that again password confirm it okay okay always like to turn off the uh, the options here advertising you don't need that in the virtual machine uh, okay except not now you don't want cortana okay ladies and gentlemen we let him do his thing and um, will be back soon when it is finished all right and there we have our windows 
There we have our Windows 10. Let's check our device manager. See if we can get if we do if we do have network access because normally here we have a network connection and a basic display adapter okay Let's see if we can get into internet all right let's try and duck, duck, go oh that works just fine all right so internet works from here we can try to at this point we can activate the uh, virtual io drivers in case we still need them uh, if we go to a virtual machine where was it just bear with me one second we will just stop this virtual machine just like that and if we go to hardware can change our ISO since we don't use it anymore or Windows ISO we can change that into the um, virtual IO ISO where was that we need to upload it first so I will put it into Win 10 if I can upload that also that would be nice where is my virtual IO drivers right here oh it was in downloads okay right here so we put it in downloads and we put it on desktop right here move it there yes okay let's go back right here move it here yes go back to the kind of thing where was it upload select file desktop virgio there it is upload Okay, it's uploading the virtual IO um, ISO. So now we can, uh, if we go back to a virtual machine, we can change the ISO, if we double click it, into the virtual IO drivers, just like that. And then click OK. Now if we start again our Windows machine and go to console and reboot again, you can start the virtual IO um, the virtual IO setup. Let's log in. All right. Where is it? If we go to File Explorer device. There it is. Virtual Windows. Let's go to the 64-bit version. I want to install that. Accept. Next. Yeah. Install them. Here you go. Now this will install the virtual I/O part. Yes, there we go. Which will optimize our uh, Windows 10 installation. Okay. Now if we have a no look again in our device manager, let's see if, yeah, as you can see now we don't have any exclamation marks anymore. Our network adapters are up and running. Uh, the PCI uh, storage controllers are up and running. We want to go ahead and shut down it properly like this. Shut down Windows. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes this video for today. Later, I'm going to uh, try to virtualize the graphics driver um, as well as for Windows 7 as for Windows 10. Um, there is a specific wiki which I want to mention here, which is the Arch Linux PCI pass-through via OVMF that is a very in-depth uh, tutorial and you can find there all kinds of information about how to do this how to accomplish this and uh, basically it's the yeah it's, it are the same steps also for the for the for the proxmox server 
Um, I hope you found this video helpful. If it was, hit that like button and I will see you in my next video. Stay safe and adios.